name is Bravit Rochenaprook, a senior writer at Kaosot um, English online news website, which is based in Bangkok. Well, in Thailand, the major uh, limitation for freedom of expression is the lack of freedom to uh, publicly criticize and or question the monarchy. There is this law called the Les Majeste Law, which basically criminalized um, any defamations and criticism of the monarchy institution. And the maximum imprisonment term is 15 years. Many people, particularly the younger generations, want to either amend or abolish the law. Well, as long as it is a law, I abide by the law. And that's very uh, tragic because it means a lot of the critical news and information about the Thai monarchy is actually coming from abroad. And Thais would uh, have to try to access it online. They could risk being prosecuted for merely sharing such information or news. So as a journalist here in Thailand, the next best thing I could do legally is to talk about the censorship and self-censorship, which is prevalent, deeply ingrained and problematic. You know, we only report good news, good news and more good news about the monarchy. While the reality is a lot of people particularly the younger generation, access uh, an alternative news universe that will hear more critical assessment of the Thai king. Being the only Thai journalist who have been detained twice after the military coup in May 2014 speaks for itself. And I have been advocating for press freedom and the freedom to uh, critically report and criticize the monarchy uh, without breaking any law um, for the past near, I, I think, almost two decades now. If you look at uh, your profession as a calling and you see how backward and barbaric Thailand remains in this regard, then as a journalist, you there is no other option but to speak out. I'm pleased to say that the younger generation, and when I say the younger generation, we're talking about people who are 25 and younger, are now very active politically. They are launching a call to either abolish or amend the law.